of America and Morgan Stanley finishing up earnings from the big banks, both firms beating uh, analyst profit and revenue estimates with investment banking. A big highlight joining us right now is Devin Ryan, Citizen JMP Senior Research Analyst. I uh, want to walk through the headlines here, but maybe I should ask, ask you, what, what is your headline out of both of these numbers? Good morning, Andrew. I think, you know, it's, it's a good quarter. Um, you know, the investment banking and trading, um, we're in the early days of a recovery there. And so I think we're seeing some of that come through in results today. The flip side, I think why you're seeing a little bit of pressure on Morgan Stanley this morning is uh, still seeing some headwinds from uh, interest rates uh, around, you know, deposits coming down and then also uh, the higher cost of deposits because of that. So I think that's what people don't love. And then they did have a little bit of a lighter net new asset quarter in their wealth management business as well. Of all the banks right now, if you could own one, which one would it be? So I'd actually own Goldman Sachs, so technically a bank, but where you want to be exposed right now is capital markets. Uh, as I mentioned, investment banking, uh, there's probably 30, 40 percent upside to M&A revenues. Equity issuance could be up 50 percent plus. And so I want to get exposure there. And then Goldman's really exciting right now because their asset and wealth management business um, is really expanding pretty rapidly. So I think that's going to be the next leg of the story for Goldman, where you see, you know, alternative assets is $500 billion at the company, which you know, puts them in the top five for all its players. And only 60 percent of those assets are fee earning right now. So that's going to be you know, the next three years for Goldman, you know, really exciting part of the story for them. OK, so what wouldn't you touch? Uh, you know, so we, we've been more neutral on Morgan Stanley, uh, and the reason being is that they've done so well. You know, this net interest income dynamic I just mentioned, um, I think, has been a big tailwind for them as rates have gone higher. That's helped. And now their rates are stabilizing or even potentially moving a little bit lower. That creates kind of the, this offset. So even as capital markets rebound, as I mentioned, you still have a little bit of a headwind right. from rates moving lower. So I think that's I me. Mean, we're more neutral there. And we would uh, look to put new money still into Goldman Sachs after the stocks outperform. Okay. How, do you, up about how do you stack rank then? What do you do with the, the JP Morgans of the world on one end and the Wells Fargo's on the other? Yeah, so I, I think, um, again, you really want at this part of the cycle capital markets exposure. And so you think about the banks, you've got Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan with, I would argue, the two leading kind of capital markets businesses. And then I would be a little bit more cautious on. Um, you know, kind of the traditional deposit businesses, that be just because of where rates are and rates potentially moving lower. That being said, I think all the large diversified banks um, are in a pretty good spot relative to smaller banks. So I think it's a little bit of kind of what you're looking for. But really, you do want to lean in um, here still on capital markets. By the way, future of, of Wells Fargo, since we mentioned that, where, 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 what do you think? Yeah, I, it's um, we don't formally cover well, so uh, okay. I'll probably not give too much here. But, um, you know, I, I think that they've got, you know, a big diversified franchise. But I think at the same time, um, you know, all these large banks are looking for for growth. And so, um, you know, I, I think that uh, that's something that a lot of these firms have to think about over the next couple of years. OK, uh, Devin, uh, with a, a big call on Goldman Sachs and uh David Solomon, that stock has been working um, in a very big way. Yeah.